All right then, so we've set up a simple authentication system now, but at the minute it kind of all looks a little bit disjointed. We have views or pages which look like this, which we've designed and look like this. And we also have pages which look, if I go to the home route, like this with this little header at the top. And they both look like two different websites. So I kind of want to bring everything together under one roof. And the reason, by the way, this looks so different than the other pages is that they're both using different blade layouts so remember when we created a layout which was basically the head and a footer for our pages very early on in this series well when we use the ui package to create all the front end for our new authentication system it also created a new layout view as well and i'll show you that in resources and then inside views in layouts we now have app.blade.php now this layout.blade.php this was the one that we made right at the very beginning but the one that was generated for us for authentication is this thing right here and all of the new views that were generated as well inside here they are all using this layout so what i'd like to do now is switch it so that the views we created here or use that layout as well instead of the one we created now the exception is going to be the welcome view and that still will have this right here this layout okay so i'm only going to apply the new layout to these things right here so let me see first of all in one of the authentication uh, views for example register it extends layouts.app so i'm going to copy that and also by the way the section is still called content so if we take a look inside the new app layout we can see down here if we scroll down enough we still yield a section called content so that's good so inside now our create view i'm going to come to the top and i'm going to say that this extends layouts.app and also i'm going to do the same thing for index so i'll replace that with layouts.app and also this thing as well show okay so if we save that now and come over here i'm going to refresh and we get this header at the top that's good but now this looks like junk and also if we click on the link then this looks rubbish as well and that's because the old css that we had that was linked inside this old layout file which is right here that is not being linked to anymore from the new layout file so all i'm going to do is grab that i'm going to copy it then i'm going to go to the app layout and go right to the top and i'll paste it in right here underneath the other one oops i don't appear to have copied it correctly so let me go back to the layout file again copy this and then paste it in right here okay so that's worked now I'm going to save that and then refresh over here and now we see those styles come back so if we go back to all pizzas this is looking a lot nicer now and again the h4 looks a bit better now because we're using bootstrap because remember this new app layout right here also links to app.css and we have that in the public folder now app.css which contains a lot of bootstrap and that was generated from the sas file that was created for us when we used that ui package so let me cross that off now everything starts to look a little bit better now there's one more thing i want to do and that is when we go to the home view over here oh we need to log in first of all so let me say mario at pizza house dot ninja and the password is test one two three four i'm going to click on remember me i log in now we're logged in i want a link here to the pizza list so let me go now to the home view which is what that was and where it says you are logged in i'm going to do a p tag underneath it and inside that i'm going to do an anchor tag with an href and that is going to go to forward slash pizzas let me spell this correctly h ref and inside the anchor tag i'm going to say view all pizza orders 
close that off and close the paragraph off as well save it and refresh over here and now we can see view all pizza orders okay so that is all working now and now it looks like it all belongs to the same website except the home page which i think can be different you know if you want it to be um, every other page now has this header at the top and that is a bit better in fact, I've just noticed as well, we don't want Laravel in the top, we want Pizza House. So let's now go to the layout file again, app.blade.php, and up here, I'm just going to replace, not the title, we want this thing right here, the app name. So let me get rid of that, and let's call this Pizza House instead. Save it, and refresh over here, and now we see Pizza House instead. Awesome. Cool, so we have this authentication system in place now, but really it's not actually doing anything. <laughs> yeah, we can log in, yeah, we can register, and we can do all that, but it's not protecting any of our routes. So an unauthenticated user can do just as much as an authenticated user. So it really makes no sense at the minute. Because remember, I wanted to protect this pizza's route so that only people logged in can see it. So if I log out, then go to forward slash pizzas, I can still see this. So we need to figure out now how to protect routes and pages so that only logged in people can see certain ones. And we'll do that in the next video.